The short answer? They were actually the same temperature. Assuming that both spoons are just sitting on a kitchen counter at room temperature, a metal spoon and a wooden spoon are both at the same room temperature, yet the metal one feels colder. Why is that? In this video, we will go over how heat transfer works, different types of heat transfer, and why the metal spoon feels colder. To start, let's talk about what heat is. Instead of treating heat as how hot something is, think of it as more so how much energy something has. The more energy, higher the heat, and thus higher the temperature. I went into more detail in my last video on the kinetic molecular theory. Anyways, when you touch a very hot kettle, you are feeling the heat because the kettle has a lot more energy than you, which means that it is a lot hotter than you. Who is most likely at 35 degrees, the average temperature of your skin? So then, how do we know the kettle is hotter? Heat will always flow from a higher energy source to a lower one. So when we say, at 35 degrees, touch a kettle that's at say 70 degrees, the heat from the kettle will immediately transfer to our hand. This causes our hand to heat up, perhaps to say 45 degrees, which tells our brain that the kettle is hot and snaps our hand away. This is how we feel the heat, by being at a colder temperature than something that's hot. There are actually three ways for the heat to transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. From the kettle example, we went over conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct touch, which is what happened when we touched the kettle. Next, there is convection, which is heat transfer through fluids, such as gas and liquid. For example, a heater is able to heat up the house because it releases warm air, which circulates in the house and warms the building up. Lastly, we have radiation, which is heat transfer through electromagnetic waves, namely infrared waves. Sunshine is a great example of radiation heat transfer. As we feel the heat from the sun, we are actually feeling the infrared and ultraviolet waves shooting out from the sun and onto our skin, which is definitely colder than sunshine. So now, how about the metal wooden spoon? Since they are both at room temperature, at around 20 degrees, they are both lower than our skin temperature. This means that when we touch either spoon through conduction, the heat from our hand will transfer to the spoons because we have more heat. However, what is important here is the materials of the spoons. The metal spoon is made of, well, metal, which generally are good conductors, which are materials that easily let heat and electricity pass through them, while wood is an insulator, which makes it harder for heat and electricity to pass through. So, when we touch a metal spoon, more heat is transferred to the spoon because it is easier to transfer through metal than wood. This drops our hand's heat more than a wooden spoon, which tells our brain that the metal spoon is colder, since the metal spoon took more heat away than the wooden spoon. And there we have it. Heat is how much energy an object has, and it will always transfer from higher energy to lower energy through conduction, convection, and radiation. A metal spoon will feel colder because it is a conductor and will take more heat away from our hands than a wooden spoon, which is an insulator. And since more heat was taken away, it means that the metal spoon must be colder even though both spoons are at the same room temperature. I hope that y'all have learned something interesting today. Thank you for watching and good luck with everything!